I guarantee you that you have not seen something like this before. Every now and then I find a unit in this game that I think, what does this do? And I am never disappointed. This little thing right here is called the Flying Nugget, and I think it's gonna be amazing. I think I know what it does, but let's just watch. <laughs> Look at it roll, what is it doing? Oh. <laughs> It just blew up into a thousand pieces. I think what I enjoy about this thing, whoop, there it goes. Where's it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's insane. Uh, it's that it doesn't fly the way you would expect it to. Let's watch it again, shall we? Look at it. It just kind of rolls and then it just kind of goes all over the... Where's it going? Come back, Nugget. Okay, I went to a bigger map because uh, that way it will allow for it to fly all over if it, if it wants to. There it goes. Come back now, Nugget. This is it right here. Yeah! <laughs> this thing is so fun. I don't know if you know this, but polar bears are very similar to boa constrictors. <laughs> they can swallow their prey whole. They're probably not going to be able to swallow this thing whole, though. Meet the Furbzilla. <laughs> it's a Furby, but it's a Godzilla Furby. Clearly, they're just going to get annihilated by this MG, right? Or maybe not, actually. Go, polar bears! Get Furbzilla! Oh, they are super aggressive. They're gonna push it off the edge. How is it possible that you could just put a couple of blocks around something and then give it some eyeballs and a nose and it looks like Furby? While this might look like a Furby, if you recall, we found the most epic Furby ever once. Lord Furby. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot how epic this thing is. A little beaky big it's got going on there and then the feathers and all that stuff. Needless to say, this is one of the most powerful units that this game has ever seen. If you don't believe me, watch it in one second, he'll die. There it is. He dead. Perhaps Furbzilla didn't quite do it for you. Well, I found something else too. Meet Plumzilla. <laughs> it's like the raisin dude. Do you remember that raisin thing? It's just three, four blocks with a laser on it and glasses. Why do I like you so much? Well, he's got a laser up there. <laughs> it's always fun to watch some little bird looking raisin thing. Laser guys down to nothing. <laughs> he's so cool strutting his stuff. Check out this thing. It's like Barney has a brother that's way cooler than him. Look at this face. <laughs> What's going on here? He doesn't move. Oh, there he goes. Now he's moving. That's kind of weird. He's pretty terrifying. I actually haven't really seen this that much with a head like that and a body like that. I knew he was going to be a great fighter the moment I saw those claws. Look at he's got like five guys shoved in those things. Whee! He did. Oh, he's got that guy literally right in the face. That's a pretty cool looking dude, let me tell you. I couldn't even stop it fast enough. I was going to see if Plumzilla could win against Furby, but clearly uh, he can't. Plumzilla was a little uh, mad that he lost and got defeated, and so he called his big brother. Applezilla. <laughs> hey, you guys, I got Zillas for days over here. Anyway, let's watch Furby get dominated. <laughs> Little baby Furby's gonna fight uh, Applezilla here. Oh, he's just kind of running right over him. Do you have any weapons on you of any kind? It sounds like he's launching missiles or something. Somehow, he just stomped out Furbzilla. You might think this looks like an ordinary turkey, but it's not. It's a super epic, powerful death turkey of doom. And he's going to eliminate all these rhinos. <laughs> Watch him go. He just kind of pecks him, I think. But he, he doesn't have any other weapon. Wow, the rhinos are just... Maybe they'll push him off the edge, actually. Uh, it's what's got to happen. The turkey's got to keep his feet firmly planted on the ground. If he gets flung up in the air, he's gonna get a launch clean off the edge. They got him up against the edge. The turkey's holding on for dear life. Are the rhinos dying? Oh, the rhinos are dying. Not quite sure how this is happening right here, but it is. Oh, it's gonna be a close one. The turkey is almost dead. There's only one rhino left, and he is going... Oh, nope, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. I didn't really plan this, but apparently this is the episode of really weird animals, and here we have a goose. <laughs> Can and the goose defeat an army of people. Wow, it is fast. I have to imagine that the goose is going to get destroyed by these guys with swords, but honestly, at this point, oh, no, nope, he's gone. I was going to say, at this point, you know, I have no idea. I don't know what's going to happen. Let me show you a creature that shouldn't move, but it does. Look at this thing, okay? I don't know how this spider actually moves, but he does. 
Oh, is it because he's an actual big spider? <laughs> it's because he's a big spider. I didn't even realize that. I thought it was like some derpy thing glitch, but then I remembered that there's a spider in this game. It's not very effective at uh, what it sounds like it's flinging through the air. Not very effective at what it does. Moving on! Perhaps you know of Godzilla. Well, this is a different version of him. What is this thing? It's called Godzilla Aquatus or something like that. And it looks absolutely epic. Behold his power. What does he do? Does he just swim around and eat stuff? At least his mouth works. Oh man, the squids are brutal. They got this flip attack thing that they do that's just devastating to their enemies. That's a pretty cool looking creature. Is this from something? This different Godzilla? I've never heard of it before, but then again, I'm not like 100% too familiar with the monster verse. Perhaps this thing exists somewhere. Let me introduce you to probably one of the most unique creatures that you're ever gonna see in this game. I'm not entirely too sure what the thing is. They say it's a dragon, but you tell me what you think this thing is. It's really weird but yet extremely epic. Meet the Glutton Dragon. What is this insanity? Look at this creature. Apparently, does it fly? Because if this thing flies, I'm gonna be shocked. But look at all this, What? what is all this in here? Clearly it consumes its prey and shoots it into its giant. I think this is supposed to be like a gigantic mouth and it's gonna suck up all these elephants. <laughs> Put them a little too far away. Oh, I get it. I don't know why I didn't think about this, but this is his mouth. These are his eyes and that's his head way up there and he literally has wings, he could fly, but he's clearly too fat. <laughs> Thus the name, Glutton Dragon. So yeah, that's him and he's pretty freaking epic. Can it suck up these elephants though? Oh, <laughs> it totally can. Nice. I like it. Oh, there it goes. Another one getting up in his mouth. Oh, so it just kind of rakes them into its mouth and then it yanks them up. You know, it needs, man, I got to not ever use elephants again. They are so stupidly loud. I'm going to remove this laser because I think the laser's ruining it for the effect. There we go. We'll use giraffes and see how it goes. Will it suck them up? Oh, it, it definitely does. Get those drafts up in there. <laughs> Down its gullet it goes. Oh man, this creature is awesome. What a unique creature. Look at it, it's like raking them in. Bring them in too close to its mouth so the harpoons can latch them in and then just, oh, something crazy is happening there. This is probably one of the most unique creatures I've seen. It's, it's, it's really cool. I like it. Let's get these guys in here. Let's see if they can, let's see if this dragon can eat these things. <laughs> Look at this size difference of this monstrosity. You know, I always like debate what, how am I going to make a thumbnail? Cause I don't want to spoil it. You know, you know, what I like about this game. There's no, there's no end of unique creations. Everybody's always making something unique and cool and didn't get a single one in there. I don't think, uh, everyone's making unique stuff and, uh, you know, you never run out of funny things to find and it's just super entertaining. Well guys, I'm sure that next time we'll find some more epic creatures and I'll make sure to bring them to you. There goes Barney up into his mouth. I like its little body up here. It's a little body and it's a little head. <laughs> yeah, it's got this gigantic belly down here. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Click one of the two videos that you're about to see. Make sure to like and subscribe. All the good stuff. Thumbs up for the fat glutton dragon. I'll see you guys next time.